What's up, everybody? TBJ here. What's up? We said we're gonna make this an animated show, and you know what? We are here. Oh my god, we should be live. We got Remus on the phone. What's up, Remus? How you doing, man? All right, TBJ, how you doing? Man, we hanging in there, man. We about to take things to another level because, you know, Tallboy said we going to do a all animated show. So, you know, we going to be animated over here. So, that's what we going to do, y'all. We going to have some cartoons and we going to have some fun and we going to try and break it down this technology. Is that cool with you, man? That is cool with me. All right, well, we'll be live in one minute and seven seconds, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. One minute and seven seconds. And we got our man, Cartoon Matt. He going to pull up on us as well. So uh, just stay tuned. Let me see. Can I find Cartoon Matt? Hey, let me find Cartoon Matt. How you doing, Cartoon Matt? What's up, man? What's up? TBJ. What's up? Hey. I'm doing great. Ready to talk tech? Man, you gotta turn your volumes up, man. Your volumes are kind of low, okay? Just, just All right, right, I will fix that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah. We're gonna be straight. We got 29 seconds before we go live, all right? That's what we're gonna do, y'all. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk this tech news, and we got some things that we need to talk about, all right? Y'all ready? Yeah. I'm trying to get Tallboy to get everything set up, all right? So we can go ahead and get this thing started. We're going live in nine seconds. <laughs> Y'all ready? I'll see you on the other side. Because he, you know, he my buddy. That's Revis. You know what I'm saying? But we said we were going to make some things happen today because, you know, we wanted to do something different. We wanted to simplify the technology in a language that you can understand. But then also we wanted to make sure that, you know, uh, we make it fun for you. Okay. So hopefully this won't be a boring show. Hopefully you'll be wanting to tap into where we at and all that good stuff. But, uh, this guy, he live out there in Pennsylvania, y'all, Pennsylvania. And he does a, a morning show on Wednesdays. Now his boss, his agent, he do it live every day, but he comes on on Wednesday. So I had to talk to his people to talk to my people, to, so that way we could do a show together. But he likes to do everything awesome, okay? Everything awesome. And then his boss, he's big into, like, woodworking. And then, you know, he has some uh, other cool things because he's on the, what do you call that? That 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 Ecamm, that Mac thing, you know, the, the Mac computers. You know, Tallboy don't like that, the, 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 the iOS and the Mac stuff. But that's all Cartoon Matt and all Matt, okay? So without further ado, I need you to go ahead and uh, put your hands together. That's right, put your hands together for my good friend. He gonna pull up on us. They call him Cartoon Matt. Y'all go ahead and give this man a round of applause. TBJ. Yeah, All right, man. tech news. Tech How you news, doing, baby. Man? I'm doing great. Ready to talk tech. It's good to hang out with your tech audience on the Lab Tech Show. That's Cartoon Matt's favorite show. Oh, I love it. You got, you got a favorite show and it's us? Oh, man. 
I, I wonder, was it because of me or was it because of Tall Boy? Let me know, because, I mean, I ain't never seen you. I seen Matt, but I ain't never seen you pull up on us. All right. I, I, we, we made it happen. Our agents got together and somehow came to an agreement which is tough because my agent doesn't agree to very much of anything. So you 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 work some magic, TBJ. Oh, okay, all right. Well, well, you know, we, we need to tap in with the audience, okay? We need to tap in with the audience. So audience, if you paying attention and if you watching on your phone, you know, why don't you uh, l- l- let us know where you're watching from and if you could just put your city and your state, let's put the city and the state in the uh in the in the comments and uh, we'll find out where you guys are watching from is that cool because we like to know where everybody's watching from is that all right can you do that for us just put your city in the state no other comment just city and the state let us know where you're watching from and then we're gonna see if we can get some people to pull up all right let, let's see what we got here uh we got some people let me see where we at we got uh two people down there in florida who down there in florida uh, 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 Revis? He might be in Florida today. Uh oh, we got one more person. Uh, I don't know. Anna Maria? No, uh, I don't think that that's right. Well, we're gonna find out. And who over there in Las Vegas? Sharente Carr. She over there in Las Vegas. Okay, I see you, Sharente. Hey, Tall Boy was supposed Always to put his name Always double on eleven in. when oh. you're in Vegas. Huh? Always double on 11 when you're in Vegas. Ah, double on 11. Okay, well, why are they putting their names in the comments? Okay, we got some people. Oh, ooh, look, let me see. We got another name that just popped up on the screen. They said Mama D in the building. Uh-oh, Mama D in the building. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Mama D? All right, well, look, I got to get this thing back on the, uh, uh, the, on the show So we need to uh, talk about the rules so we can go ahead and get this thing started. Is that okay with you, Matt? Let's do it. All right, let me see. Where the rules at, tall boy? Where the rules? I'm running this thing, not tall boy. Let me get these rules on the show for y'all, okay? Where the rules at, tall boy? You know you got me over here. There we go. Look, this is how you can participate, okay? This is how you can participate. You can watch on your phone or on your TV. Now, you can only comment on your phone because, you know, there ain't no way to do it on the TV, right? But we want you to be authentic and keep it real because we want you to embrace this technology because it's happening whether you like it or not, all right? Now, if you're watching on another platform, that means another YouTube channel, another Facebook channel, maybe even LinkedIn, come on over to the YouTubes called The Lab Tech Show. Tallboy got the link somewhere in those descriptions. But if you're watching, we want you to interact with us, okay? So interact, have fun, learn something, and we'll go from there, all right? Hopefully you got some value out of that, and that way you know how to participate, okay? Now, 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 now we got to find out where our boy is, you know what I'm saying? Like a, 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 a road dog, because he, he on my side. He ain't on Tallboy's side. Um, we got to find out where he is. So without further ado, where's Revis? Revis, where you at, man? Pull up on us. He's somewhere in the United States, from L.A. to New York. Where are you, Revis? Don't forget to honk the horn. Revis, what's happening, man? TBJ in the building. What's going on? What's up? What's up? Where you hiding now, that man? Where you last week? You was in Catula, Texas. Now where you at this week? I'm in Dallas, Texas this week. Oh, you didn't moved on to the west? No, to the east. You you moved to the east. <laughs> well, we gonna call that Midwest something. We go somewhere like that. Okay, you like that Dallas area, don't you? Cause every time we talk to you, you be in Dallas. You be somewhere in Texas. That's we be hearing all kind of towns. I was actually in Florida yesterday. Oh, okay. Don't don't Sheila Baker stay down that way? Sheila Baker somewhere down there, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, you down there in Dallas. Is there anything special about Dallas that we need to know about outside of the Mavericks? Uh, yeah, the Cowboys suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. But some people might be, they might be cursing you out, but, you know. It, uh, they, they might be with me saying that. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, okay, so uh, we got this word of the day called vicarious, and we want you to break it down. Can you do that for us, Revis? Uh, yes, sir, I will. All right, so it says, 
uh, vicarious. It's an emotion or experience is one felt by watching, hearing about it, or reading about someone else rather than by doing something yourself. And the way the sentence reads, Revis, he felt a vicarious thrill as his daughter crossed the stage to accept her diploma. Break it down for us, Revis. Hey, like I said, the only thing I remember is now it made sense what Prince was saying. And the most vicarious poses, you feel the heat, the heat between me and you. Remember, remember Prince saying that in the song? Yeah, that was a he nice was talk. Yeah, I like that. That's right. Okay. He was talking about that heat between that woman and him because it was something that was it was it was seen, it was a feeling. Uh what I like about the word is that we experience this all the time. Okay. If we go to the movies or you sit down with someone and you're watching a movie and you get all into it and that bad guy, that murderer or something comes out and he has a knife in his hand and he stabs someone right in the stomach. Boy, you jump. The next person jump, everybody in the theater jump, everybody feels that knife wound in their stomach. Mm -hmm. That is what vicarious is. Okay, so if you feel now, the excitement is what being, you're saying. Yes, but now being a man, we all have experienced a vicarious emotion. And the reason why I say that and women take heed because it's very important. If you sit up and just tell a man that you're going to hit him in the cajolas, every man can feel that. If you just hit a man, and if we see somebody hit a man in the cajolas, every man that sees that can feel it. So the hint is, you don't have to hit the man in there. All you got to do is say it, and he's going to get a vicarious feeling. He's going to know exactly what's going on. <laughs> okay, so basically, if you tell somebody that you about to hit them, what the woman say, they, I'm about to hit you in the cajolas, he going to already imagine it and feel it is what you say. Exactly. Okay. Because uh, vicarious is something that you can see, that you can hear, something you can read, and then you get the feeling from whatever it is that you see. Okay. So that's vicarious. Okay. All right. I'm with it. Well, let's see how, what the people think. Do the people think that you did a good job? Break this down. All right, guys. If you on your phone, this is what we need. We need you to let us know in the comments, how did Reavers do on the word of the day? All right? One, this was a great breakdown. I'm proud of you. Two, we waited all week for this. Three, this is suspect, but I'll let you slide. Or four, Professor Revis, you reign supreme. One, two, three, or four. Let us know in the comments how did Revis do on the word of the day. Now, Cartoon Matt, what did you think of uh, Revis's uh, breakdown? You, you, you let us know what you think wasn't bad this was a hard one because it's the feeling you feel when someone else does something so you don't do the thing but someone else does that thing but you feel good you know my my, my son graduated i'm living vicariously through my son because i remember when i graduated or yeah so i think i think he did exactly. good yes I'll, I'll i'll rate him as good good job Revis. okay well uh Latricia Davis says, hello, I, I heard that. And then Rich, Rich Vibe says, I feel your pain. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> Revis, uh, they say, I, I, I felt you with this one, vicariously. That's what Rich Vibe say. Uh, yeah, I uh, see that. Rich Vibe, my man, he be on top of it. And he be using these words six, seven months down the line. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, he a DJ. He got to mix it in with his mixes. And then our man, John V, said, hit him with in the conjunctions. Oh, he felt that one. 
Ooh, watch out there now. Okay, what well, look like a uh oh. Uh, no dangling know, participles. Yeah, look, look, the people say number two. We waited all week for this. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> the people is a tough crowd. Boy. Ooh, Lord, Reeves. Ooh, jeez, that's a rough one. All right, well, Reeves, you want to leave the people with anything else before we get ready to go? Hey, make sure you hit and like the subscribe button because we are counting on you to make it to 500 as soon as possible here. Remember Tallboy has merch, TBJ has merch, the Lab Tech family has merch, and look at here, the word of the day has merch. Oh yeah, we got some merch. We're gonna talk about it a little bit later on, okay? And uh, we're gonna have to get you some new merch because you overdue for some. That's, that's what Tallboy told me to tell you. He said you overdue for some. Is that cool? Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, well, we, we, we tell them to go to shop.tallboy.us. We're going to kick it with you a little bit later. Is that cool? All right. All right. Well, look, guys, this is what we got going on. Um, we got, uh, since we don't have no stash stock party for the evening, um, since we don't have that, no stash stock, well, we, we got a question for you. It's already in the YouTube video, right? And uh, it says, what uh, what platform is your preferred browser for the internet? But we have one right here, and we want you to let us know what you think. Uh, what about one for other, two for Mozilla, three Edge, four Chrome, or five Safari? What platform is your preferred browser for the internet? All right, let us know in the comments. Now, just use it on your phone. A lot of people know the famous one. What's yours, uh, uh, Cartoon Mac? Chrome all the way. Chrome, chrome, chrome. Edge is for psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> he said edge is for the psychopaths. Okay, but... John Venturini but, says but, Netscape Navigator. <laughs> oh, my God. Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Shout out to John V. You know what I'm saying? John V. He, he definitely going to be very active. Okay. Uh, everybody's seen to like Chrome. I'm surprised that all the iOS people... Don't like Safari. Oh, my God. Now, come on now. What, what y'all doing? Y'all don't like uh, the Safari? What's wrong with Safari, no. uh, car Cartoon Mac? No, 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 no. I rock Apple hardware, but I am 100% Google software. Anywhere I can substitute a Google piece of software, that's how I roll. Ah, and look at John B. He already using... The, the, the word of the day, vicariously active. Okay, all right, look at you, John V. What they say, John V, what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, uh, Cartoon Matt, we about to go ahead and start this show. And uh, uh, you have a, a certain area you want to go into? Let me tell the people what we're going to be talking about. Let, let, let's go ahead and break that down so they can have an idea of what the show is about, okay? And then that way... Uh, they'll know what we're talking about. All right, so look, this is what we got on tap for tonight. We got Just Walk Out program. It just, it's ending. They said, no, -uh, we can't do it no more. You just can't walk in the store and just walk out no more. We're going to tell you what store that is, all right? And then you say, now you can buy items while streaming. And then OpenAI is stealing from YouTube. I don't know about this one. We're going to have to talk about that one, Matt. Cartoon. Matt, um, and then also, Android has its own air tags. What? They got their own version? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead. What, where, which, which way you want to go, Cartoon Matt? Which way you want to go? Uh, let's start with the Amazon walkout. Okay, the Amazon walkout. All right, let's see. Um, let me see. Can I get it up on the screen? Where is that? There we go. I know a lot about the Amazons. Did you read this article? You, you want to break it down for us real quick? Oh, sure. Okay, uh, thank you. Ahead. I would love to break it down. Go ahead. Break it down. All right. Amazon has this wonderful service where you can walk into the store. It recognizes your Prime account, and you pick up whatever you want, and you just walk right out. Watch. I'm going to walk right out now. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Ow. There I am. And when you walk out, they automatically bill you because everything 
is tracked by cameras and AI. It's the revolutionary way to shop. It's groundbreaking. Well, they're closing 130 stores. All the stores, they're, they're, they're saying, nope, we're not doing it anymore. Why? Because they fired all of the engineers and it was too expensive. And most of the technology, you know, they talk about cameras and AI. It was all reviewed by humans anyway. There was a huge team of people watching those cameras and reviewing the quote-unquote low-confidence events. Um, so they're closing it all down. And it was a failed experiment. They wanted to get as low as 5% human review. That was their goal. Unfortunately... The best they could do was between 20 and 50%. So they got around half. It's too much. They also had sensors that help know when you pick something up. They wanted to get the cost of those. And they have hundreds of these sensors in the store. They wanted to get the cost of them down to $100 each. They're, they could come in around $350. So, Just for the sensor? Yeah. And they have, they have hundreds of them in the store. What it turned out to be was... If it's a convenience store, you pick up five or six items, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know, you can monitor that on computers and cameras and AI. When you're in a grocery store, you put hundreds of items in your basket. There's a hundred people in the store all putting, a, it's just too much for any computer. So they're like, you know what? We, we just can't do it. They're, they're shuttering the whole thing. That's That's the gist of it. Okay, so basically what you're saying is you walked into the store, you pick up whatever you want, and then because you put in your credit card, they already had it because you scanned your hand or you scanned your eyes or something like well, that? Is that what you're it, saying? It identifies you as a Prime user. You have to have a Prime account. Okay, okay. All right, and all I right. guess there's a million different ways to validate your Prime account when, when, you, when you walk in. I'm not really – I understand the ins and outs of how they did that, but the idea was – they know you who you are, and they know who what your Prime account is, and then you just put stuff in your basket and you walk out, and they charge you for it. And it's it's a great idea. It was too much volume, and too much human review. It's just sometimes you can't push technology where it needs to go as fast as you want it to go. We got so basically, a long you just weren't ready for the technology. Perfect. Is what you're saying? It was too expensive. It's too expensive. I, I should say the technology exists. It was just too expensive. The sensors were too expensive, and the labor was too expensive because fifty percent of the stuff needed to be reviewed by a human. It it just looks good on paper, didn't look good in reality. That's the long and short of it. Kudos to Amazon for trying it, but it didn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, they said uh, that's interesting. So. Do you think that they might be able to come back and do it again or another company might do it? Or you just think they're just not ready for it? I think another company won't do it because you've got to have a lot of servers and no one has more servers than Amazon because they have the whole AWS thing, the Amazon Web Services. So I think Amazon is was uniquely positioned for this. Amazon had a whole business plan where they went, we're going to license the technology to other third parties. It's all off the table now. I think we'll probably try it again in five years once computers get smarter and if those sensors become less expensive. Did you ever look up in the ceiling in one of those stores? It's wall-to-wall -wall lenses. Mm -hmm. I should ceiling-to-ceiling -ceiling lenses. <laughs> like every three inches there's a camera. <laughs> it's expensive. Well, it's it's well, just well, expensive. Well, well, well Reva, uh, Reva says it's a uh, legal shoplifting. That's what he calls it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, they also said uh, before you walked in, you log into your Amazon account on your mobile phone, says James Hicks. That's what he said. You had to log in on yeah, your mobile phone was, before you walked in. And, there was some light touch way where they somehow knew who you are and what, what your prime account was. Yeah, okay. Well, um, well, basically, it's no more is what you're saying, right? Well, 
I think they have a handful of stores just to save face, but the whole engineering team is fired, and they, with the exception of a skeleton crew, just to kind of maintain what they have on the few stores that are open. And I think they're just going to quietly go away after this gets out of the news cycle. That's my mm. that's my guess. Well, they said they, uh, you know, they just laid everybody off, so uh, they they're, they they're repeatedly trying to failed at several internal metrics. And they just said that uh, it just never truly became autonomous. So the checkout technology relied heavily on a team of just like you said, the human reviewers, and they had to label and verify the purchases that's on the uh, that's on its computers. And uh, they said the team was based out of India, so it wasn't even like it was a U.S. team. It was like, and it was in a whole other country. Well, the, yeah, the reviewers were from India. The engineers, I think, were all over the place, but. Um... Yeah, there are two teams. Mm-hmm. You know, there's the there's the um, the low confidence reviewers, and then there was the actual engineers that did the technology. And uh, oh, cool. all the, all basically all the engineers are gone except for a few. And, okay. You know, they're right. denying it. Amazon saying, "No, we're really not doing it." But like, come on, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Like, it's <laughs> gone. <laughs> all right. Well, we got to ask the audience, uh, Cartoon Matt. Um, was ending the Just Walk Out program good based off of the information you just uh, heard? One, on your phone. Yes, this was not safe. Two, it had potential, but oh well. Three, no, they should have developed it and sold the technology. Or four, to not, technology is moving too fast for me. One, two, three, or four. Let us know in the comments what you think of the Just Walk Out uh, program was it good mm. let us know all right we see the comments coming in cartoon matt you see them coming in yeah. they rolling in here man i see my uh, vote my vote <laughs> yeah you got your vote in there <laughs> can i vote as as a co-host am i allowed to vote hey man you <laughs> hey participate we want everyone to participate and don't forget mm. if you're watching on another platform you could be on the youtube at the i am tall boy page you could be on the linkedin page or the facebook page but if you're watching on those platforms Come on over here to the YouTubes and type in the Lab Tech Show, all right? And that way you can comment with us and hang out, okay? That's what we like to do. All right, let's see. Uh, what, 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 what do the people say? The people say it had potential, but oh, well. Well, it yeah. is what it is. Three, three wasn't really viable. They couldn't sell it because they couldn't get it to work themselves. And, but if they um, developed it and they gave it some more time, well, oh, okay. I mean, I guess you, that you, make... you got to think. You you sit on the technology for a couple of years. You you work on it, right? And when you work mm-hmm. on it, it, it is what it is, right? Oh, Rich Vibes has a good comment. He says, I wish for more Amazon fails, They, uh, them being so greedy. Mm-hmm. I understand AP with the advent debacle. Well, what, what does Rich Vibes yeah. say? He says, I wish for more Amazon fails. Them being so greedy. Still unsubscribe AP with the advent debacle. Okay. Something going on over there. Wait, wait, wait. Now, you, now, now, Rich Vibes using big words too. So we, we have to figure yeah. out what all that means too. He's a all smart right. cookie, that Rich Vibes. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to move on to the next story. All right. And uh, if I'm correct, let me see if I get this right over here. Uh, come on, uh, TBJ. Uh, you want to talk about this thing, Chipolo? Yeah, let's talk about Chipolo. So, uh, got it. This, this, this is uh, an alternative to air tags. Have y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, how many people got air tags in the comments? Do you, you got an air tag? You own one? Well, you know, they're not available. Huh? Air tags on everything. And you got air tags on everything? On everything? Everything. Oh, everything. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, a lot of people that have iOS, they have some reliable technology to where if you leave something, you can't find your keys. If you want to know where your luggage is, you can just pop an air tag in your bag. Well, Android had something called Tau, and, uh, but it wasn't really reliable. And then he also had Samsung Smart Tags. And the only thing about Samsung smart tags was 
Uh, it only worked with Samsung phones. So if you had another Android phone, it would not work. Well, now they got something for everybody. And what I mean by that, man, they got uh, some new things. And uh, it's two new companies. There's actually more. But it's some new companies pulling up and saying, hey, we got this technology, and we want you to uh, participate and be a part of it. And uh, this is what I mean right here. There we go. Put it back up up there, TBJ. Ah, there we go. All right. They're saying uh, Chipolo and there's a new company called Pebblebee are releasing a Bluetooth trackers that are compatible with Google's new Find My Devices network for Android devices. Now, they're saying that the Chipolo offers two models. Now, they got two of them. There's the one point and then the card point where the Pebble V offers three models, the clip, the card, and the tag. So I guess you can put the clip on one and then you put the tag on the other and you kind of go from there, all right? So that's kind of what's going on. And then they're saying that um, they said that it, uh, the both trackers use Bluetooth and they are splash resistant and have a loud siren to help you find them. The round one uses a replaceable coin cell battery but the card doesn't all right so however chipolo is offering you know a discount when the battery dies so uh yeah help me out cartoon uh cartoon man i'm, I'm trying to get this story right because uh, my, my computer didn't locked up on me help me out my man okay uh no worries we could talk about this well the the idea is both these brands chipolo and pebble b are on this new network called the Find My Device Network from Android. And any Android phone can be used to locate it because that's the power of these systems. You have to have a network of other devices that can sense them. People have iPhones all over the place. And when someone with an iPhone wanders next to your AirTag, it tells the mothership and that's how it all works. Well, now, up until now, only Samsung phones would work with their little system or whatever. And uh, now this is all integrated across all Android. So that's really the power of this. You can't have this product work unless you have what they call it, critical mass is the technical term for it. Enough people, you know, putting data into the system. All of the features are identical to AirTags. The whole feature stack, it's identical over here on the Android side. You can uh, track the stuff, like you can make, make it do a ping sound and you can locate it in your house. Um, if it's next to a, a Nest speaker, the speaker will actually blast its sound much louder than the little tiny device could go ping, 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 but you know, speakers are really loud. Um, you can share the device with others so other people can locate the stuff on their devices, not just the devices you have. And most importantly, it has the unknown tracker alerts um so if someone nefariously places one of these devices on you so they can know where you go in in space you know where your house is like it'll give you the same alert best thing of all and this is best for mac and android for both the systems are now compatible where if someone puts one of these android trackers next to an iPhone user, the iPhone user is going to get the suspicious um, tracker alert, the unknown tracker alert, and vice versa. So now AirTags, Chipolo, and Pebblebee all are interoperable for that one feature of the suspicious tracker alerts to stop nefarious people from tracking unsuspecting victims which I think is really good. But but one, one caveat, one caveat, iOS 17.5 will support this and we're not, not on iOS 17.5 yet, but it'll only be a short while. So essentially it will be. Okay. That's that's the article right there. Yeah, yeah, Five that's things pretty you much. Need to know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically Android users and iOS users, now they can both have their own set of uh, trackers. So that it, just think about it. You going traveling, you going out of town, you can't find your keys, you know, that kind of stuff. This would be good because now it will work and it will connect with another Android phone. So if you can't find it, just like an AirTag, 
it will just connect it, right? So when it connects it, you know, you say, say you're downtown, you leave your bag at the airport and you can't find it. Yeah. And somebody with another Android phone, it, they, that Bluetooth will alert that this is where it's at. And once you get within 200 yards or 200 feet, all of a sudden it'll start making that beeping now, that, that beeping noise when you get in that area. So right now, only AirTags was able to do it, but now Android got something. Now, here's the cool thing. Uh, Tallboy got a chance to meet the CEO last year at uh at at the at the CES thing that big old tech show thing that ta uh, ta boy be going to, and uh, he got a chance to meet them, and I'm gonna see if I can get this video to play so you guys can have an understanding of how all of this works. Okay, let me see if I can get it to play, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. All right, let let's see what we got here. Um, let me see. Uh oh, did it freeze up on us? It ain't looking good. Well, we may have to stop. But you can see Tallboy over there talking to the CEO. I don't hear audio. Yeah, there's no audio, Top TBJ. Coming through on the live show. No, there's there's no audio to TBJ. Cartoon Matt here. Can you hear me? There's no audio. Uh, TBJ. Okay, I think there ain't no audio. No, there's no audio. Oh, there's no audio? Oh, okay. Well, we'll just stop it. I'm sorry. But you saw that Tallboy was talking to this guy from, uh, uh, t talking to this guy from uh, CES, and I don't know why there's no audio, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll figure it out. But we'll, we'll find a way to get the video to play a little bit later on. So we do apologize. But, yeah, that's kind of what it is, okay? And then let's see what we got here. We want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this Chipolo technology? Let me see if I can get that to pop up on the screen. It's a lot of moving parts over here, and uh, we, we can't get it to work right, but let's see. What, what do y'all think about uh, this uh, this new Android AirTag? Uh, Air do you think it'll be a big hit? Let us know in the comments. Do you think Android AirTags will be a big hit? One, yes. I can now find my items like my keys a lot easier. Two, no, this is a, another gimmick to get us to buy something else. Three, I'm worried about this getting into the wrong hands. Or four, if it works, it could save a lot of potential thefts. Or five, for a traveler, this would be ideal. One, two, three, four, or five. Let us know in the comments what you think. Do you think those air tags will be a big hit? <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. The air tag <laughs> knockoffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, there, there you go. You can't be like that now because Android got to have something, too, because you got to remember AirTags, they own, you know, they, they still control the market. They may not control the U.S., but they still control, the, you know, the global market now. So it can't be a natural. TBJ, I icon. am very impressed with this with this product. I think I think it's a good offering, and the real power is all Android phones from every maker, from every hardware. It's running Android. It feeds the system data, and that's that's what Samsung couldn't do on its own, and that's what Tile couldn't do on its own. You know, mm -hmm. this this is this is a big deal, and I think it's going to be it's going to do a lot of good for a lot of people. I think so too. Now, look, if you guys, uh, they say they, this is the release on May twenty seventh, and you can go to the website chapolo.net. And uh, they said it'll be in Amazon starting sometime in July. So, you know, the summertime is approaching, so you can go out and go get yours, all right? Now, they're saying that they got uh, uh, the, the Chipolo one point. That's that little, uh, the round one that you put for your keys. 
That one is a for a one pack, $28. And if you want to get a four pack, it's $79, okay? And then if you get the card, the one that you put in your wallet, the one pack is 35, the two pack is 60, and then the four pack is $112, all right? And then they got another bundle where you can do $77, where you get two round ones that you put for your keys and then one card, okay? And then they, the other competitor is Pebblebee. They got some competitive pricing as well, all right? So I want you to just know that on May 27th, they're going to release them, all right? So uh, that, that that's the cool thing. Let's see what the audience say. What would they say over here? They said, yeah, I can now find my items like my keys a lot easier. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think this might be a good hit right here. I think uh, Chipolo and Pebblebee got something. It's just the question is who does the best marketing, right? Whoever has the best marketing is going to be the one that's going to truly win this one out, all right? All right, well, hold that note. True, true, true. We, huh? What'd you say? True, true, true. Best marketing. Yeah, yeah whoever got the best They're marketing. They're interoperable. People are probably just going to buy on price, quite frankly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right. Let's see, uh... It says, will it tell me? See, John V, I don't know what he's saying. If it can only tell me where I left my my marbles. <laughs> well, it's not, big, it's not small enough, okay? <laughs> ah, I don't know. Maybe it might be your brain. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Uh, let's see. Uh, finally, something to rival an Apple product. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, okay. And then Sister Queen said... TBJ and Cartoon Matt. Okay, they said uh, you're doing a great job hosting on the show. All right, I like that. Shout out to Sister Queen. I see you. Huh? Yeah, I got them coins. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, well, with that being said, we got to do this call to action. All right, guys, check this out. Hey, everybody. Will you hit that subscribe button on YouTube? Come on, it's called the Lab Tech Show. Now, we want you to embrace this technology now. We got you. Now, we've been breaking it down. Now, you know, we're trying to simplify it in a language that you can understand. We're trying to bring it back to the cartoons on Saturday morning, but it's just on a Wednesday night. Now, we're building, and we want you to join us. So, you know, we got to bring our friends like Cartoon Matt, and then some other people may be pulling up. I might be running this show real soon. You never know. But right now, we just need you to hit that notification bell, the like, and the subscribe button. Embrace the technology. We got you. We got you. Come on now. It's called the Lab Tech Show. Look forward to seeing you being a part of the family. Now, look, we was only at like 420 when we uh, started the show. So hopefully when we get off, we'll be at like 430, 440, 450. We need to get to 500, y'all. So when you tell somebody, let them know what we got going on. We trying to get monetized. We need that money on, all right? So join us. It's the Lab Tech Show. All right? That's what we do. Hi, right, Cartoon Matt. Um, we got another article that we need to talk about. And, uh, you know, I think... Uh, we're going to do this uh, streaming one. Yeah, the streaming one. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The one where you oh, can yeah. actually buy stuff. You, you can buy stuff walking out the store. You heard about that one? Yeah. Uh, for the streaming services where they want to sell you stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. actually watching TV and then they got something that'll pop up on the screen. And when they pop it up on the screen, you can actually buy it on your phone because they'll give you a QR code or you can scan it and you go from there. Yeah. Well, they're saying that the streaming services really want you to buy stuff while you watch the TV. And they're saying streaming platforms like Paramount, Disney, Netflix, and Peacock, they're all expanding into this world of mobile shopping. They're saying, hey, we got to make some money. And we think that if you watch us or you're watching our shows, why not sell something? And they're saying Paramount recently announced a new mobile, mobile shopping experience. And they're saying it's all in partnership with a company called ShopSense AI, allowing viewers to browse and purchase items inspired by what they see on TV, all right? So the move is aimed to capture the attention of viewers Second screens, their mobile phones while they watch TV shows and events. 
uh, like award shows and uh, sporting events and stuff like that. So each streaming platform has its own approach to integrating shopping into the viewing experience, all right? So they're saying, like, for example, if you watch Peacock, uh, they provide subscribers with ads or products related to the content that they're watching, allowing them to purchase items by scanning the QR code from their TV. And Disney, they say, on the other hand, they plan to send personalized product ads to viewers via email or push notifications without disrupting the viewing experience. And Netflix, they saying it's also exploring some cool ways to engage viewers on their phones while they watch content. Now, they're saying the, the competition for the second screen is really intense. And they're saying that streaming platforms aim to keep users engaged and make shopping a seamless part of the overall viewing experience. Now, this trend is not limited to TV alone because they want social media platforms like TikTok and Pinterest, you know, they want them to get into this shopping experience. And uh, they say uh, they want you to just use that platform. What do you think about that cartoon, Matt? Oh, my. This better not ruin streaming services. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah, the, you nailed it. The, the crux of the article is they want control of the second screen because they know when you're watching the big TV, you have a little device, which is your phone, right in your hand. And this is a play to capture that by using it to scan the QR code or, or whatever. But... Um, Streaming really took the world by storm because it was far less ads, or in the case of Netflix, no ads. And now this is a way to inject ads back into everything. I hope that there's not a revolt for it. But from a business standpoint, I can certainly understand the concept of, oh, you see this cool product? Maybe it's a wearable, maybe it's a, a sneaker, or a new piece of tech gear, or a new kitchen appliance or something, and you're like, oh, right there it is, the barcode for it. I'm going to buy it. I, I, I can appreciate that convenience, but, ooh, I, I just, I hope people aren't getting too greedy too fast, and I hope they don't kind of break the new thing on the block, which is essentially streaming. Streaming is only what? less than 10 years old yeah so but well let's ask, let, let's ask the audience before we get into the questions uh we want them to participate too do you think that this is the new way of shopping on your phones let us know one yes it's smart for advertisers two no people still want to go into stores and shop three the technology is too early but soon it will be four we are slowly turning ourselves into the Jetsons. One, two, three, or four. Let us know in the comments. What do you think of this new way of shopping on streaming platforms? Do you like it or no? What do you think? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> All right. Now, we got a question over here. Uh, John V said, uh, question, uh, can you see, he said, can you see, uh, ESPN using this as sort of technology as a gateway to their sports betting app, ESPN uh, Bet. Ah, that's very interesting. What you think about that cartoon, man? Unfortunately, I think they could very well do that. This is exactly what the technology is supposed to do. It's supposed to move you from the content into something else. Why couldn't that something else be a sports betting app? Now, that's nefarious because you know betting can really ruin people but of course adults can make their own decisions so but there's a whole kind of moral question i'm not saying i'm for or against it but yeah see people have compulsive issues and that would feed right into it so i, I to me i would put that in the danger zone category and i do think it's possible Reba yeah. said they just want your money. That's all they want. And then this is uh, a money grab. Le this is a Lisa big Mar money grab. And Lisa Maria says, uh, "I see it happening, but uh, I'm frugal. They got the wrong one if they want to catch me with that." <laughs> 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 and uh, I don't do a lot of online shopping, says Reba. Okay, uh, 
Okay. Well, look, this is the way it works. I mean, you got to look at it. These streaming companies, they got to find a way to pay these actors. So they got to find Remember, they was on strike, so they got to find mm -hmm. a way to do something. So what if they're wearing a T-shirt and you like it? You know what I'm saying? What if you like this black shirt that I got on? You got this blue shirt that I got on, and then all of a sudden you just see a QR code just pop up on the screen. And when you see the QR code pop up on the screen, you're like, ooh, I want to buy that. You know what I'm saying? It could be a guitar. It could be, you know, like a kitchen utensil or something like that. And you might be like, I like that. I like that. So this could be like the way of the of, of the new future. Because now if they don't just overly saturate it, I think it'll be good. You know what I'm saying? So like right now, you could scan this code right now and then it'll take you to our merch page. You know what I'm saying? So this might be the new way of streaming. You know what I'm saying? This might be the thing, Matt. Cartoon, what you, cartoon, Matt, you think this might be cool? Or nah? Well, it, for the television, yes, because you can just take your phone and grab the, the QR code. If you're watching TBJ on a phone, how are you supposed to grab the QR code? So, <laughs> but you yeah. could be watching on your TV, right? You could be. You could be. Yeah, you could be, you could be watching. So, you know. You could be, you could be watching on the TV. You, know, you never know. You never know. I think there's a potential for this to damage the streaming industry, but mm -hmm. we'll see how it shakes out. They have to go light touch with this, in my opinion. If they go full bore and crank it up to 100, eh, eh, there's going to be a revolt. Ah, my thoughts. Yeah. That well, my thoughts. I mean, but it also depends on what the products are, right? If the products are good... Uh, the people might just want to buy it. You never know. It could be a, a, that Stanley Cup that, that those but people were buying. I pay extra for no commercials. I don't want this crap in front of me. You well, know, it's no I, commercial. It's just a QR code. But it is is a commercial because it's a product. Yes, it's not like a scripted, acted, spoken thing, but it's still an ad. I, well, I'm a okay. no ad. I pay, I pay let, let, let me, let me, Google let me say to this take the ads quick. off of YouTube. Let me say this. What about, okay, you got those action figures in the back of your screen, right? So by the yeah. behind the screen, if somebody say, I, ooh, I always wanted one of those. If I always wanted one of those, then why not just scan the phone on the TV and I can see where it's at and I can go buy one? Well, it, it, takes, you, it takes you out of when you're on your TV, you're, you're, you're enthralled in the content. You're watching a movie. You're watching a series. You know, you don't want this stuff splashing up on the screen. It takes, it takes, what do they call it? It breaks the fourth wall. What's the term? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, they better treat it with a light touch. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Yes. I, I give you. It could be good in some circumstances. Okay, Can't fault well, that. Hit the spot uh, said uh, those QR codes uh, can be annoying. And, uh. Uh, they say uh, light touch. They, they 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 don't know what that is. That's what John B says. Uh, and then uh, let's see, everything's a commercial. Says John B. He said everything is a commercial. All right. And then uh, uh, Rich Vibe says uh, I rewatched Wally the other day, and uh, the messages trying to send out uh, is more pertinent now than when the film ever came before. All right. Yeah. Okay, all right. Matt, Matt's show is, com is a commercial for Skeeter and Mario. What's going on uh, weekday mornings at 8.15? <laughs> Skeletor. Okay, all right, there you go. All right, there it is. All right, well, um, Cartoon Matt, um, I know you got some things that you uh, would like to promote because you got some things. We got another article, but I want to make sure you get your time in, okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But what is he doing over here? What is he doing? <laughs> Putting Skeletor he, he on the screen. Skeletor is all things. on the screen and stuff. Okay. Well, you want to tell people about what you got going on? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Tell them. Break it down. All right. Well, I've got YouTube channels. Awesome, fun things. See it in the background right over there? Awesome, fun things. I go live in the morning, Monday through Friday, 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time. I talk about the creative things I've done um, you know, the previous day, I do a lot of creative things. I have a woodworking channel. 
and I play the piano and I do all kinds of things with my puppy dogs and some fun things like that. You can't go wrong. I am also have a website called matthaas.com. This is the banner of it. M A T T H W A S and it has all my stuff on it. I publish content across three YouTube channels. It's all there as well as my future live appearances are on there as well. Go check that out. I'm appearing in an art auction. The art auction, there's some some of my art and uh there is a link to a Facebook group where the auction will take place. I have three pieces of art there. So check that out. That's going to kick off in the middle of the day on Saturday the 13th. So just a couple days from now. And finally, I will be teaching a class for free about file management for content creators. And this class is on a three day event. There's gonna be 30 presenters and it's called Leap. That's the Leap logo up, up there. See that purple Leap logo, like way, way up, up there. Um, there you go, Leap into Tools and Tactics. Now this is hosted by a streaming software that's Mac only called Ecamm, but it's not going to be Ecamm focused. It's going to be other th creative things you can do as a content creator and it's a productivity focused. It's how to be a more productive content creator. So very, you know, non ecam software focused and it's free free there's over a thousand people already signed up um that kicks off at uh the end of this month april 24 through 28 uh so yeah if you want to see me do my 45 minute segment i'm i'm on the first day i think i'm the sixth speaker <laughs> so <laughs> It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So anyway, I'm just doing all kinds of stuff. MattHaas.com is where you find all, all, my, all of my stuff and all my my YouTube channels. I have this many YouTube channels. That's my stuff there. Wow. So a lot of fun. You got a, a, you a real busy man. Yeah. Okay, oh. I see. You're a busy yeah. man. You got the Leap Conference. You got your morning show. You got the woodworking show. You got it all, man. You a busy Auction man. Coming Shout up. out yeah. to you. Fun. I'm a creative person. All Fun. right, that's what's up. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, um, well, you know, uh, I, I don't think uh, people know, but uh, Cowboy got merch, and uh, we, we got to get me back on the screen. And uh, you know what? Tap in with this. I think you might like this right here. Look at this real quick. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Tall Boy's got merch, that's right. And you know what? He said he gonna take care of me, too. TBJ got merch. So let me tell you, I told him this is my personal collection. You know, we had to have the drinking mugs because Tall Boy always drinking his adult beverages, you know what I'm saying? But then we had the mouse pads because, you know, we always on the computer. And then we had to have the notes because, you know, folks like to take notes and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we just had to get it right. Now, Tall Boy got some other stuff down here that look good too now he got stuff for the kids something for the ladies with the sweatshirts and then you know he got the original merchandise and don't it look clean y'all don't, don't it look clean now why don't you go ahead and add it to your personal collection all right now you see it now come on over to shop.tallboy.us then click browse and you see all my stuff and you see his stuff and we do what we do all right now we got to get back but we want to see you in the coming weeks with some merchandise, all right? So do this for me. Take your phone and scan this code right there. Right there, it'll take you to the site. Shop.tallboy.us. I got to go because uh, Tallboy about to get mad at me. Bye-bye, y'all. Y'all be good. Will you buy something? Yeah, that's the merch. That's the merch uh, cartoon, man. All right. You're taking over the internet with all this merch. You've got oh, a whole yeah. empire going. TBJ in the building. What's up? <laughs> What's up? You know what it is. I need to take a lesson from you. My my merch store is is pretty small. Ah, <laughs> it okay. pales in comparison to yours. All right. John Venturini said personal collection. He liked that. <laughs> and then uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see. That someone was talking about the word of the day. All right. Uh, Shirley P said. She said free. That's my. Favorite four-letter word. Yeah, I like that one. 
I like that. Okay, that's what's up. All right. Um, if you guys want to support, you get 20% off if you use Hook Me Up TBJ. All right? I'm just letting you know. Hook Me Up TBJ in the promo code. You get 20% off. All right. Uh, Cartoon Matt, we got one more story. All right. Last story. All right? Um, they talking about this uh, open AI. And they talking about Google reportedly use uh, some transcriptions of YouTube videos uh, to train the AI models. Now, you know, they got to learn somehow, right? But uh, the problem that we have with all of this is you can't just be stealing people's content. Now, I don't know. Everybody feels a certain way. But right now, uh, uh, yeah, open AI to learn, the ch you know, for you to be able to type in. Last week, we were showing Revis how to, you know, write a song and make it funny and make it, you know, about the word of the day, lambast, right? But now they got to learn and they got to grow. So the only way they can learn is by taking the, the model of books and encyclopedias and news articles. Well, they're trying to grow it because they want to come out with this thing called Chat GPT 5. And the only way to do that is for them to go ahead and uh, the next best thing is train as models on um uh, what do they call that on the youtubes so um they say now uh, they say that uh they they not uh stealing it because the people have kind of gave people the uh, permission to utilize their content but youtube is saying hey this is against my policy uh, uh of using our stuff all right so you can't just be saying all right they they, they said you know you, you can't you can't just take our content without our permission now, here's the only problem is, you know, they're saying that the report is saying that there were claims where people at Google who knew but did not take action against OpenAI because Google was using YouTube videos to train its own AI models. So, you know, it said uh, it only does so with videos from creators who have agreed to do this. And uh, they said this is just what it is. So um, they're also saying that Google asked a team to tweak its privacy policy in June last year uh, to be more broadly to cover its use of publicly available content including google docs and google sheets to train its ai models and products and uh, now they're saying that google says they were uh made for clarity's sake but published in july so i mean that's just uh at the end of the day open ai they trying to learn and they trying to learn the model and this is the new technology y'all so, I mean, it's like, is it okay to use the YouTube videos? Because YouTube is saying that you're potentially violating the creator's copyrights. And, uh, but if the creator is saying it's okay, is it okay or is it not? We don't know. I mean, that, that that's a different thought process there. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I have a lot of thoughts about this uh -oh. because I know a lot about copyright, you know, Matt Haas, not Cartoon Matt, but Matt Haas is a publishing professional. And I take issue with anyone that says, when I'm using this data set to train my AI, that's stealing. No, no, N-O, that has not been the case. That has not proven in a court of law. It is not stealing because when AI uses that data set to train its model, AI is making a new quote unquote work. It's a something new. It's influenced by that stuff. You cannot say that is stealing. That is not stealing. And the whole point is Google saying this goes against what our policy is. You know what? It's on the internet. <laughs> you, who cares about your policy? <laughs> um, yeah. Training an AI, AI model with data is not stealing the data. Using, the, using what, you've, what you've taken word for word, pixel for pixel, not changing, not adapting, that is stealing, and that's not okay. So um, this is a company squabbling saying, we made a policy saying you're not allowed to do this, and you're doing it anyway. You know what? Boo-hoo. <laughs> I don't know. I just... If something's public on the internet, use it to train your AI model. What's wrong with that? I don't see any problem with that. There's no legal problem. And Google squawking saying it's against our policy 
is not a legal argument. Well, if it's, in the, if, it's in, if it's in their rules, because nobody never reads the term of service. So if they don't read now, the term of service, but it's in their rules, now, I kind of agree, because if the people said, if I uploaded a video and I said, no, you can't use it, and you use my content, I can understand. But if Matt, Cartoon Matt, use, uploads you, a video use it how? and says, hey, use, you can use, use it. Use it without adapting? Now, see, now, don't go too far. If I upload my content and I say you can you can use like you have to really clarify that is it used to influence your art that you can adapt or is it use it a hundred percent? Most content creators don't say you could just take my stuff and and republish it. That's hardly ever the case. But well, we don't know how how it actually turned out to be. We just said this is just what it is. They're just saying that they gave them permission. But YouTube is saying that that's a problem, and you know if this is if it's a yeah. problem, then you know you're uploading on their platform. Maybe you, maybe problem. you need maybe they need to upload to another platform and then just take it from there, as opposed yeah. to taking it from YouTube, and in that way it just keeps the peace. Ter terms of service is like the weakest legal framework. It is like you know <laughs> it. I'm not saying it's it's not nothing. Nobody reads but, the terms of service cartoon, eh? I mean, there's there's websites that say if you use my website, the owner of the website has your immortal soul, and it's on the terms of service. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No okay, one reads the okay, terms right. of service. Well, we don't know how the people think, so we're gonna let them uh, let us know. Uh, you write out how you feel. Uh, is open AI wrong for training its service uh, with YouTube videos? You put your comment in and it's gonna pull up on these talking tiles. Like uh, Mama D said, uh, the fine print, please read it. And uh, Rich Vibe says, you not you tubing. <laughs> so let us know in the comments how you really feel and it's gonna pop up on this screen, all right? Now make sure y'all Put out some nice comments over here because, you know, we can't have right. nothing come up on the screen. I'll put Crazy. my comment in. My comment's gold. Uh, awesome. awesome. <laughs> here it comes. Uh, oh, here we go. Cartoon <laughs> Matt says, open AI should be able to use YouTube data. Google needs to stop crying. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, there's no wrong or right answer. It's just that this is what's happening. And for chat GPT 5, 6, 7, they're just looking for data wherever they can find the data, right? So they just trying to find the data wherever they can find it, whether it's through an encyclopedia, whether it's through uh, court documents, whether it's through YouTube videos, whether it's through a movie transcription. They're just looking for anything to grow, grow, grow. And we're also possibly setting ourselves up, possibly, to where this could be bigger than whatever. And, you know, we thought Google was big. This chat GPT may be even bigger because the kids are going to use it. Just like we use the encyclopedia and now we're now using Google. Well, if you prompt it right, guess what? They already got the data. And now they can kind of cite a source because they know what it is. All right? Uh, and and, wow. and here, here's the comments. Like John Venturini said, he says, uh, uh, OpenAI will use anything it wants. And all they're going to do is apologize. And then Stuart says, I'm with Matt. And uh, chat GPT will be bigger, says John V. And uh, Rich Vibe says, you know how I feel about AI. Well, I told you, it's coming, y'all. It's coming whether you like it or not. Um, cartoon just, Matt, you know, any other thoughts? My, uh, man, I, I'll just reiterate, you know, adapting a work to make something new is not stealing. And as you talk about this and as you read articles and as you go through your day and more of these things come up, just keep that in mind. I know a lot of my artist friends, I'm an artist. I went to art school. I'm participating in an art auction. I'm the last person that should have this, but I think I'm level-headed about it. You know, artists are influenced and adapt things and it's their creation. Well, same thing, only a computer's doing it. So, well, um, if, if, if the artists say okay, I don't have a problem with it. All right, that's just the way I feel. Well, but you can't you can't fall down that rabbit hole because you know the candlestick makers are mad that the incandescent light bulb came out, <laughs> and the, the the buggy whip manufacturers are mad that the in, that the uh, 
the combustion engine is a thing. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, gotta move on, folks. <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right. Well, look, this is what some of the uh, questions are. Uh, Lisa Maria says, I don't like it that much. And uh, Latricia says, the kids are now using it for school. And uh, if you want to use my content, I should get paid, says Revis. I agree with that, too. And then uh, I'm getting used to it, says uh, Lisa Maria. So I get it. it it's, it's one of those situations at the end of the day. We have to embrace it. But at the same token, open AI, chat GPT, or whatever they call themselves, they can't just take our stuff without just, you know, our permission. Now, if it's uploaded... I understand. You're saying it's for public use or for public consumption, Cartoon Matt. I don't disagree with you there. I just say that, you know, I think a common courtesy of asking me would be deemed okay. And now now it's going to be a legal battle. And now if the courts get involved with it and they say, oh, no, you can't do this, what do they do? They tell you, no, you can't use the data, and then now they got to erase everything? No, all they're going to do is just cut a big check. And once they cut that big check... You're just going to be happy because they gave you some money. You know what I'm saying? you got to prove it broke the law, and there's no law about being influenced by something and making a new work. Okay. All right. There's yeah. there's laws about stealing and using something 100% without changing it. There's not that. And I have a, a profound comment about this whole topic, which I think is going to really wrap this up nicely. And it was from a meme I saw. And I might not get the sentiment exactly right, but bear with me. Someone said that they want AI to do the mundane things of their life, to clean things up, to, you know, to do the chores, the drudgery of life. Instead, AI is doing the creative work. They're doing the art and the writing. That's the opposite of what should happen. We should use AI so people can do more art and people can do more writing. And AI can do the crap work that we don't want to do. So I was just like, it was just in a meme. And I'm like, that's pretty profound. Like maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Yes, we want AI. We're using it not the best way, perhaps. So just, I thought that was elegant and kind of agree. That's okay. my thoughts. All right, there you go. All right, well, uh, John V says, uh, Chat GPT, uh, Claude, and every other generative AI platform that is out there or will soon be out there, this is our reality now. Uh, these are the fights we either fight or figure out how to change laws on. Now, all you got to do is just create some laws, and there, there we go. All right, that, that's what it is. All right, so... Uh, people saying exactly, Matt. Amen to that. Amen to that. All right, guys, we got uh, a couple more things, and we're going to get on out of here, all right? Let's check this out. Uh-oh, it is the brand, y'all. Come on now. This is how you can support Tall Boy. Now, look, this costs you absolutely nothing, all right? Well, something if you want to. But, you know, uh, the live tech show now is on YouTube Music and Spotify. Then, if you want to check out uh, the Lab Tech Show on Roku or Amazon Fire, man, you can go check it out at TBE Media. You got a TV at your house? Search it. You, you know you ain't doing nothing. You're you looking for something to do. All right? I got you. I got you. Search TBE Media. And then you can search the brands, the Lab Tech Show, YourLiveProduction.com, and TallBoy.us. And if you want to support TallBoy, go ahead and hit them with the PayPal or the Cash App. You see him. He out here doing big things. We did this animated show with Cartoon Matt. Pull up on us. Support. It don't really cost nothing. Your support goes a long way. We trying to get to that 500, and you know, every dollar counts. Support. Think big. Think tall. Think tall, boy. It's the Lab Tech Show. Back to you. <laughs> All right. Well, look, let's see what we got. Uh, I got some questions for uh, some people. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, we, we want some transient thoughts. That's what we want. And uh, what I mean by that is, what do you think of Cartoon Matt and TBJ hosting the lab tonight? You put your thoughts in the, on the screen, then we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll sh it'll pop up on the screen and you let us know. All right? Uh, any uh, things that you want to talk about while we uh, 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 wait for these thoughts to come in? 
says, I love it. 10 out of 10. TBJ in the building. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, a lot yes. of fun. This, the, the audience makes this a great show. Everyone in the audience should pat themselves on the back, I think, because it's a great experience. Yeah. Uh, I, I, love, mean, this, I love the tech audience on the yeah, Lab yeah, Tech yeah. Show. Yeah, this, this, like the way we doing this uh, cartoon, man, I mean, it's an interactive show. We're having fun. People are engaging. They have to, they get to let their feelings or their opinions known. And now when they hear it on the big screen, you know, on the big news stations, then they be like, I heard it over here at the lab tech show. And then, you know, just to be able to say, uh, we had some people pull up on us, you know what I'm saying? I think that, that, that was really good too, you know, so. I definitely thank y'all for y'all support, and I'm glad Tallboy allowed us to do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Let's see what the comments say. The comments say, it just works. It's amazing. TBJ hosting is pretty cool. You did an amazing job tonight, TBJ and Matt. Uh, you two did an awesome job. Cartoon Matt should interview other animated characters in an animated restaurant somewhere. Super fun, says Stuart. <laughs> Okay. I think he's referring to a particular Brazilian steakhouse in King of Prussia, but I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, let's do a quick recap real quickly, and uh, we'll see. Uh, 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 let me see. Get that on the screen right there. There we go. So once again, this is what we talked about tonight as a brief recap. Uh, we discussed. Uh, the Just Walk Out program by Amazon, they said it's ending. And then they said Android has its own air tags. Yeah, they got their own version called Chipolo and Pebblebee. And then you can buy items while streaming. And then, you know, the big one, the big controversial one was OpenAI is stealing from YouTube. Do you agree or do you not? And then, you know, by Karis was the word of the day that Revis broke down for us, all right? So hopefully you guys got some value out of today's show, and uh, that was the whole purpose of it. Uh, any final words before you go, uh, uh, before we get up out of here, man? Thanks for having me on. Check out my links in the doodly-doo, matthaas.com. Follow me everywhere. Love the okay. tech people. Thank okay. you, thank you. That's what's up. Uh, I thought I had one for you. Okay, uh... Is that it? No, that's not it. I thought I had one for us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got one for you, Cartoon Matt. Uh, what did you think of Cartoon Matt? Uh, let us know in the comments. See, let us know in the comments. I got a nice ring to it, says Shirley P. Let us know. What do you think of Cartoon Matt? She, 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 did he do a good job? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let's see. The doodly dudes. Yeah, that's what they like. They like it when you say the doodly dudes. <laughs> Yeah, the, the video description is such a long, bland phrase. Check out the link in the doodly-doo. It works. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. They say Cartoon Matt in the building. <laughs> oh, okay. I stole your phrase. I, I'll, I'll they, pay my royalties before I leave. <laughs> and then they say uh, Cartoon Matt will win an Emmy. Oh, okay, all right. That was the other comment that popped up on the screen. Okay, well, look, guys, we definitely like to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, they say uh, Cartoon Matt did his thing. I think you both should get awards, uh, says Revis. Yeah, thank you so much, Revis. You should get an award, too, because, uh, you know, you be doing your thing on that word of the day. Shout out to you. Hi. Right? All right, guys, we'd like to say thank you once again for hanging out with us. Uh, it is the Lab Tech Show. Now, in uh, all fairness, Tallboy said, he, he said, uh, we had to do a programming note, okay? A programming note. I got to put this on the screen because Tallboy said he's going to be mad at me, okay? So, uh, if I don't do it. So, he said, I know y'all may not like this, but uh, next week, there's not going to be a show, all right? No show. It's going to be canceled for April 17th. We got to take a little break. Tallboy got, you know, some things that he got to do real quick. And uh, so, no show. It's going to be canceled, but we'll be back the following week, all right? You never know. We may just pop, pop up on you with something, but just giving you a heads up. Next week, no show, all right? Just giving you a heads up, all right? So with that being said, we hope that you guys enjoyed the show. You got some great value. Hopefully, 
Uh, we simplified it in a language that you can understand. And uh, when you hear it, at least you say you heard it over here first. Please help us out. Please subscribe. Please tell two or three people about what we got going on. And uh, just support us. We're building. We're growing. And hopefully you like this animated show. All right. Uh, it's time to go. Where, where, where's the song, Tall ta Boy? He said all animated. Where you at? You already know. Ow. Tall Boy. We got to go, y'all. Y'all be good. Thanks for hanging out. It was an animated show. Did you like it?